The regulatory compliance um, credentials, uh, it's, it's a very interesting process. The current European um, regulations have brought in the role of the person responsible for regulatory compliance. And they have a very basic set of uh, qualifications to perform that role. It's written into the regulation. However, one of the qualifications is that they should have uh, a, an external degree or equivalent qualification and a year's experience. But if you were expecting a person to a regulatory professional to actually perform that role with just a year's experience under their belts, it's almost, for me, it's an impossibility. You know, I've been working in this profession in regulatory um, for 28, yeah, going 28 years now, I guess. So it's, it's very hard for, you know, for me sometimes to decipher what something means within the regulation. If you only had a year's experience, it's almost impossible. So having an external qualification, which involves the candidate delving deep into that regulation to understand the requirements, um, you know, in intimate detail, really, and then having that knowledge tested in a formal qualification, I believe would give any employer confidence that they know what they're talking about. As I said, I've been working in the industry for far too long. I remember, but I still remember what it was like when you first get into regulatory compliance, when you're first sort of reading through the, the regulations, getting to understand what these mean. Um, I thought, you know, when I was invited to be part of this process, I really wanted to understand a, where RAPS was coming from, you know, where they thought this need was to understand that, but also, you know, using my experience to ensure that the, the questions that were being posed would be stringent enough to actually test the knowledge of anyone going through this so that they could actually have confidence, you know, RAPS could have confidence if they passed that qualification that they are they are endorsing a professional who has the knowledge base now and the skills base. So, you know, I was really interested and with the training background and knowing how I, you know, how I put together training courses. I just thought it'd be really interesting to see how RAPS did that. I think there, there were sort of six of us in the room, all regulatory professionals, all from very different parts of the industry which I found really interesting to start off with and obviously I was involved in the in vitro diagnostic exam there is a separate one for medical devices uh, the questions have been put together we had 120 that we were going to work through um, and we worked through each question aim to actually understand what the question was looking for, look at the possible answers that were being posed um, to make sure that the, the correct answer was in there. But any of the other um, answers that were there for misdirection possibly would be plausible so that it was a test of knowledge and that, you know, they, they could be tripped up if they actually didn't know exactly what they were looking for. And we were also looking to see whether the source of those questions, you know, what was the actual source? Was that being quoted as being correct? So that going forward, if someone disputed the question, they couldn't actually, but not being pointed at the right part of the regulation or whatever, then we knew that each question had been attributed to the right part of the regulation and that the challenge question, challenge answers were were suitable as well. I think you know, for me as a regulatory professional, if I have that qualification under my belt, going for a job with a manufacturer, they would have confidence that okay, I can put my CV together, I can tell them all the experience I have. 
but that added qualification would give them the confidence that that knowledge had been challenged formally. Um, and B, as an employer, and you know, I run my, my own um, consultancy business, if I was looking for a new person to bring on board, obviously I'm looking for regulatory experts. If someone's sitting there with this qualification, I've got the confidence that they've had their knowledge base formally challenged, rather than looking at their CV and looking at what they're telling me they've done. RAPS is giving me the added confidence that, yeah, they, they do know what they're talking about.